Why do I attract men that are not available? So let's talk about this very important subject because I see a lot of women struggling with, with that um, situation and also they stuck in that situation for many, many years. So if you realize that you have pattern of attracting men who are not available in many different ways, it can be that, for example, they drink alcohol or taking drugs. So therefore they are not able to connect with you on a deeper level. They are not emotionally available with you. Or maybe someone who works a lot is workaholic. He's never home. He's also not emotionally available to you or maybe he's in a different relationship he's married whoever still dating or you dating uh, together so I just want to talk about this why this may happening to you when I work with someone who are dealing with this kind of pattern over and over again keep attracting the person that is not available for you and creating the life just with you and creating the connection heart to heart connection then I, I'm always inviting to look what is happening on a deeper uh, level with you are you available for love are you available to receive the support and love what often may happen that you are actually not ready for that consciously you think yes of course i am ready of course i want this relationship of course i want to live with him but on a deeper level you don't because you are scared and often you sabotage yourself by attracting that person who is not available because it's easier it's kind of you put shield around you it protects you from not going too deep in that relationship and not commit to that relationship or to that person fully because deep down there is a fear of being hurt of be of losing yourself maybe or giving too much or being uh, taken for granted or being used in many different ways so this way it's much safer because he's in in that relationship or that marriage so i'm kind of safe it can also be the fear of um, that yes it's painful and you will get hurt but really what is underneath that then you blame yourself and it's my fault and this it's my fault belief creates so much pain that again you're stuck in that situation so the whole punishing energy is going towards your whole blame energy goes goes towards you and you can punish yourself in many different way physically by starving by hurting yourself uh, in many different ways uh, hiding uh, emotionally you beating yourself over and over again this create depressions like feeling like giving up uh, you can punish yourself mentally by constantly abusing yourself by saying very negative words about yourself and in the end you have no energy to get out of this situation you're rather stuck in that because there are some still benefits of being in that situation and often is the fear the fear of change and the fear of uh, being alone fear that you're gonna be hurt again so let's stuck with that the truth is often when you are with this uh, the person who is married you both have benefits uh, of being in that situation for him maybe it can be that he doesn't need to take serious decision about either repairing that marriage doing something about that or working on himself or leaving that marriage really like burning the bridges and then creating life with you so for him is also it can be 
I'm not saying that it's always happening, but it can be very comforting as well and very beneficial because, you know, like if this doesn't work, he always have that situation. If this doesn't work, he has you, for example. So there is no, um, yes, you, you may have this uh, energy of feeling in that situation for very, very, very long time. I've met people who've been in this kind of situations for years and they are just promises from one side. Yes, I will leave that relationship, I will leave that marriage, but never happened. And the other person is more depressed, more depressed, more depressed, or cannot move forward with um, her life, like meeting someone who is available and really creating the life that she wants. So my invitation is if you are in that situation and you really feel so broken and so empty because of that and so stuck with that situation, I highly recommend working on limiting beliefs because down there on a deeper level it's it's my fault or I am a mistake or I'm not good enough or I'm not lovable. There will be some sort of this kind of limiting beliefs that truly make you stuck in that relationship. And often those limiting beliefs are very much linked with your childhood. Maybe you were critici criticized by one of your parents over and over again or both parents or controlled or you never um, felt like you have voice or you were constantly shushed. So this can create that feeling like it's my fault that no matter what you did, it was wrong. So very often those feelings we may then feel as a grown up and kind of repeat that um, cycle basically, very toxic cycle. So my invitation is first recognize because first you need to have awareness of what is truly underneath. And if it's, it's my fault, I don't deserve, you blame yourself, um, then okay, go deeper. There is something from your most childhood to be healed. And I am highly, highly recommend you working with someone, especially if you are new to this journey, because you are probably not strong enough to pull you out from that situation, number one. So if you work with someone, you have like accountability partner who gonna be there for you, hold your hand and guide you what to do through this healing journey and self-discovering journey. So at the beginning, if you don't have enough tools, awareness and strength, I highly recommend you to work with someone. Then later on, when you feel stronger, more confident, you have better awareness, absolutely you can do so many things uh, by yourself. Uh, and I promise you, you will never ever get into that situation again because you're going to be so aware and you're going to be so confident and your beliefs will change through all this work. Uh, so you're going to feel I am good enough, I am lovable, I deserve to meet the man that we both can co-create, co-create this amazing life, create this amazing life. So you no longer need to stuck in that situation and it will be very liberating for you. I promise you on a physical level, you will feel like you've lost 100 kilos, like your, the weight on your shoulders, you know, or maybe the heaviness on your chest. All this will be released because imagine like you're gonna feel free, like open your wings and fly and go for things that you truly, truly deserve. So I highly recommend you to dive deep. This is really inner work. There's no other way around than just recognize your beliefs, limiting beliefs most of the time about yourself, about that situation. What, what is the benefit for you that you are still in that situation? There's some benefit most of the time because you are scared to be alone or being hurt, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So if this is your um, fear, 
then get support don't waste your time don't waste your life life is too precious and too amazing to be stuck in that situation of course i'm talking to person who feel so desperate and feels that it's they they have enough of the situation but they don't know how to get out however if you're enjoying that situation then of course um, you are the creator of your life and I wish you just all the best so thank you very much for listening I hope this was helpful if you have any questions feel free to reach out uh, email me you can get um, my email address uh, below this uh, video and I look forward seeing you seeing you blossoming and thriving and creating the life you really want